Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make these delicious two ingredient bagels. They take about 30 minutes to make from start to finish. They taste great and they're an excellent recipe to make with kids. I will admit this is a little bit of a departure from the videos that I normally post on this channel, which are usually about teaching English, but this video does tie in nicely with a few kid-friendly kitchen recipes that I recently made on the Fun Time Learning YouTube channel. This is a learning channel that I've been working hard on all year and we just posted a breakfast and lunch recipe video for kids. So if you enjoy making these bagels today, you might enjoy making some of the recipes in those videos as well. I'm gonna link to both the breakfast and lunch video in the description of this one. And who knows, maybe you'll even support the channel by hitting the subscribe button when you get over there. And now, without further ado, let's learn how to make these two ingredient bagels. Before you prep any of your ingredients, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, then grab a cooking sheet and cover it with a piece of parchment paper. Once you've done that, you can set it aside. Like I said, you only need two main ingredients. The first being one cup of self-rising flour. If you're like me and you don't have self-rising flour, that's not a problem at all. You just need two more ingredients. In a bowl, you're gonna combine one cup of all-purpose flour with one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of fine sea salt. Just whisk those together and you're good to go. The other main ingredient you'll need is one cup of Greek yogurt. I'm gonna suggest using plain Greek yogurt as opposed to something that's already been flavored. And those are your ingredients, Greek yogurt and flour. It may sound weird, but trust me, these bagels are absolutely delicious. The next step is to grab a mixing bowl, dump in your flour, and then add the Greek yogurt. You can combine your ingredients using a spatula or a spoon. If you happen to have a young chef in the kitchen, this would be a great time to enlist their help to help form the dough. You can ask them to use their clean hands to mix the ingredients together. You can lightly knead the ingredients inside the bowl until a nice dough has formed. It should look like this, and it might be a little bit sticky to the touch, but that's perfectly normal. Once your dough has been formed, you're gonna dump it onto a clean and lightly floured work surface. From here, you're gonna cut your dough into four equal portions. This recipe is enough to make four bagels. If you'd like to make more, simply double the recipe. Now that you have your four dough balls, you're gonna shape them into the shape of a bagel. To do this, you're gonna put your dough ball on your work surface and roll your hand over top of it, back and forth. The goal here is to form a little bit of a snake with your dough. It should be about eight to 10 inches long and about one inch thick. While you're rolling your snake, if you find that it's a little bit sticky, just sprinkle a little bit more flour on top of it and that should solve the problem. Once you've created your dough snake, you're gonna take the head and the tail and bring them together to form a circle and then pinch it together just to seal it closed. Just repeat this process for the other three dough balls and you're good to go. You could technically bake your bagels at this point in time, but there's one more step that I'm gonna encourage you to do if you have the ingredients. And that is to create an egg wash for the top of your bagel. To create an egg wash, you take an egg, crack it into a bowl and give it a whisk, and then take a kitchen brush and paint the egg wash onto the top of the bagel. This is gonna serve two purposes. Number one, it's gonna help the bagels get a nice golden brown color on the top when they're baking in the oven. And number two, if you decide to add any toppings to your bagel, it's gonna help the toppings stick. For my bagels, I sprinkled on an everything bagel seasoning, but you could use whatever you want. Poppy seeds, sesame seeds, or whatever your favorite bagel flavor is. Once you've done your egg wash and sprinkled on your toppings, these bagels are ready to go in the oven. Your oven should have been preheated to 350 degrees. If you forgot to do that step, you can do that now. And once it comes to temperature, you're gonna bake your bagels for 23 minutes. After 23 minutes, turn your oven on to broil 
and you're gonna broil the bagels for about two minutes. The goal here is just to get a nice golden brown color on the top. Be careful that you don't over broil them or your bagels will burn, so please keep an eye on them. And after 23 minutes, plus two minutes of broiling, your bagels are ready. They should be golden brown on the top, soft and fluffy like a pillow, and they should smell amazing. And that, folks, is how you make bagels at home. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up before you say goodbye. And if you're looking for some more kid-friendly kitchen videos, you can find a breakfast and lunch recipe video for kids on the Funtime Learning YouTube channel. Links to those videos will be in the description of this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!